Hello, welcome to Rapid Rhino RC. Um, this is my second instructional video. I am taking a Red Cat Racing RS10 and I'm going to put a LiPo cutoff connector on the speed controller and take off the Tamiya plug, put on a Dean's plug, and get it so I can run this sucker on 2S or 3S LiPo. So, this is my RS10. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pop the body off, set it out of the way. As you can see here on the ESC coming up, it's got a standard Tamiya plug on it. Obviously, that's not a... Anyway, I'm going to take that off because I don't want to use that with my LiPos. All my LiPos are wired for Deans. So, I'm going to uh, get out my LiPo cutoff and we're going to get that thing soldered in place. So, here is my Novak Smart Stop 2 to 4S cutoff. Cut off light circuit for safe operation with lipo batteries, auto detects for 2S, 3S, 4S, blips when shut off, throttle at safe voltage includes a blue warning LED. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, see what all we've got in here. A little bag with some double sided tape and some different size wire ties. The lipo cutoff circuit itself. It has the pins on it for your ESC to plug into, and then this plugs into your receiver, the blue LED they were talking about, and then two wires that go into the battery connector. So I got that cut off, and that's kind of a short little cord I'm working with, or short set of cables I'm working with now. So this next step, it's a little bit tricky in positioning. First thing I'm going to do, just like you saw before, I'm going to trim off some of the shielding. I'm not quite as worried about this as I would am when I'm working with something that provides the electrical source, so cut those off. I've got room there now. And now I need a Dean's plug. I uh, tend to buy my Dean's plugs in bulk from Palms Hobbies. And again, Put the connector. It's going to end up on the ES or on the yeah on the ESC into its mate, so I can put that in the vise. I'm going to tin that thing up real quick. Okay, so those are tinned. Now. I actually need to tin the wires coming off of the LiPo cutoff as well as the wires um, on the ESC. Put my iron over to the side. Again with the heat shrink tubing. This time I'm going to cut the piece a little bit longer than what I did when I'm normally doing a battery just because I've got to, got to cover multiple wires. And now I'm going to take and just thread these. the same thing for my negatives. This is my second RS10 I'm converting this way. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the red. So now I've got a connector, pull that off, it's good to go. So now I've got the receiver plugged into the LiPo cutoff, and the LiPo cutoff plugged into the receiver. So now I should be able to, excuse me, my transmitter, turn it on. I'm going to unplug my solder and iron since I'm done with that. East. 
I'm plugging my 3S LiPo. Just set it in there for me to flip the on switch. So, you can see from the motion of the body, I've got steering. And the RS-10 is a four-wheel steering vehicle. Rear steer, front steer, crab steer, four-wheel steer, <coughs> cooperative steering. All right. So we're ready to go. All I've got to do is secure that. So my LED is secured. It means I'm basically going to just wire tie the lipo cut off to my support beam there. Flip that baby back on. Throw the body back on. And you can see on the back end there, there's my LED that hopefully I'll be able to see before it cuts off, or is it warning me to cut up at the cut off? And that's about it. I have a waterproof EFC in this thing, so I'm not going to go splashing through the water. 